So, a lot of people ask me if they should use the natural light or add a flash in their portrait session. My answer is it actually depends because you would just get different results on using just the natural light or adding a flash. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you what kind of pictures you can get when you just use the natural light and what would happen if you add a flash as a soft fill light and also the kind of result you would get when you use the flash as the main light and underexpose the ambient light. When you're shooting in just a natural light, you have only one exposure, which is the ambient exposure. It will affect both the subject and the background's brightness. When you're adding in the flash, you get two exposures, which is the flash exposure and the ambient exposure. The flash exposure will affect the brightness on the subject, whereas the ambient exposure will affect the brightness in the background. And in fact, the purpose of adding the flash is to balance out the subject exposure so that it can match with the ambient exposure. So let's, um, let's watch this video. Hi everyone, this is Christina from Photo Sprouts Photography Workshops. And today I will be photographing this beautiful model, Alejandra. Hi. Yeah, so I will be using natural light and then I'll add a flash and show you the difference. So let's get started. Let's do it. To shoot in natural light, you want to find an open shade. An open shade is a shady area in full sun that blocks direct sunlight but still bright enough to illuminate the subject. It is where you can find the softest light. Look at the ground and find the line where the light and the shadow meets. An open shade is usually within two or three big steps behind that line, but also be mindful of the background. It should not be too bright, otherwise it is not qualified as an open shade. You want to place your subject in an open shade and have her look at the bright side. Here's a wrong demonstration. I placed Alejandra in a shade, but note that this is not an open yeah. shade because it's got a very That's bright so background. If I exposed for the subject, the background was all washed out. Since Alejandra and the background were lit by the natural light, if I make the background darker, she will also become dark. The solution here is to use a flash, which I will show you later. One step backwards, please. If I'm there not using a go. flash, then I'll find an open shade, just like here. However, this is not a perfect example of an open shade because the background was still a little too bright. Yeah, like this. Later yeah, on, I was like able this. to find a better yep. open shade, but I wasn't like able to film it due to technical right issues, so I back. apologize for that. Yes, like this. Good. Like this. Good. Slightly touching your chin. Beautiful. Yeah, pop that foot more. There we go. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for show. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. I've been using a step ladder because shooting from a higher angle enables the camera to flatter the shape of the subject's face. Let me show you the difference with and without a step ladder. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make Okay, step letter. I'm adding a flash as a soft fill light. When you add in a flash, you have two exposures, which is the flash exposure and this will affect the subject, and also the ambient exposure and this will affect the background. Before turning on the flash, I will first expose for the ambient. I want the brightness in the background to be like this, which is not too bright and not too dark, so this is my ambient exposure. After getting my desired ambient exposure, I will turn on the flash. Using an off-camera flash is super easy. If the subject is too bright, Bring down the power of a flash and do the opposite if the subject is too dark. I asked Alejandra to step back a little bit because there was hard sunlight on her face. Here's the difference between shooting in just the natural light and adding a flash as a fill light. You can see that the subject is slightly but noticeably brighter, while the camera settings in both photos were the same. And notice that the subject is still in the open shade. 
I like adding in a flash and this is my portrait style. You can shoot in just the natural light if you prefer the natural light style. As a photographer, I think we should all know what the photos will look like with and without a flash and decide which option to go for. And I will create more videos in the future to show you different styles using just the natural light, one flash, or multiple flashes. We have moved from the open shade to a spot that was in full sun, and there we could get beautiful hair light. However, if I expose for the subject, the background will be too bright, and if I expose for the background, the subject will be too dark. And this is when a flash should be used to balance the exposure. I'm using a flash as a key light to create some dramatic shots. Unlike what we have just done before, dramatic shots are a totally different kind of portrait style. You want to underexpose the ambient light and then highlight the subject with a powerful flash. Before turning on the flash, I will do a few test shots and expose for the background, and I will underexpose the ambient light. I want the background to be also blurred, so I'm using f1.4, and after a few test shots, I determined the shutter speed to be 1 8,000th of a second. You can see that the subject is dark, but the ambient light is um, properly exposed, and this is exactly what I'm looking for. After getting my desired ambient exposure, I will turn on the flash. Shutter speed 8,000. Good. Okay, now light. It's 1 over 16. Okay, cool. Can you relax your hand a little bit, your left hand? Good, put it like slightly on your side. Good, like this. Beautiful. So as you can see, the subject is brighter, but still not bright enough. So I need to bump up the power from 1 16, maybe to 1 quarter and see how it goes. Okay, I did. So the light is not too powerful. Go for one quarter. Okay. Yeah, flash. Good. Get closer. With the light? Yeah. Thanks. Here? Yep. Okay. Good. Wow, so pretty. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And then a few more. Good. Lovely. Okay. So nice. And then I'm going to push it backwards so that I will see a lot of good hair light. And the light has to go move with the model. If I shoot in natural light only, then I'm limiting myself to an open shade. For dramatic portrait, you can shoot in full sun or in an open shade. And you don't have to worry if the background is being too bright because you can always use the flash to balance the exposure. It's a close-up shot. The light has to be closer. Closer, closer, yep. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, um, wow. So good. Beautiful. Love that, love the hair light. Just a little closer, please. Yeah. Wonderful. Can you bend your right leg a little bit, like, like all the way towards that side? Just the right leg. Yes, good. And still keep your, your nose pointing to that tree. Beautiful. Chin up just a tiny little bit. Good. And then can you face, uh, uh, face away from the camera and look back? Good. I'm bending down a little bit so that I can shoot from a lower angle. For dramatic portraits, I would shoot from a lower instead of a higher angle because I think it just looks nicer. However, um, the sky is all washed out, which I don't like, so I move just a tiny little bit so that I can fill the frame with a nicer background. A big tip here, if you don't have a light assistant, it is better to use a heavy duty light stand because a regular light stand won't be able to stand against the wind. We are currently creating more videos on dramatic portraits, so please subscribe to us if you're interested. The second part of this photo shoot will be released next week, and we will shoot in the golden hour. I will use the natural light to create some light and airy photos, as well as some warm and dreamy photos. And of course, I will add the flash and let you see the before and after. 
We are Photo Sprouts Photography Workshops in San Francisco and Palo Alto. Equipment is provided for beginners so that they don't have to buy a camera to come to a photography class.